I have an update for the one of my last videos. I did a um, an update, another update on uh, one of my ficus trees that I did the um, the grafting on, and I took the top of the tree off, and I said because I said it looked like a pretty cool tree already. So if you check it out right here, is that tree, and it's only been a couple of weeks. I don't even think it's been a couple of weeks. I think it's been maybe two weeks, and Look at all those roots already. So this tree is actually ready to go into a pot to start growing out. Um, I'll probably keep it pretty small. I'm gonna put it in a smaller pot. I have a really cool uh, bonsai pot that I'll put it in. Hey everybody. All right, so I got this tree that I showed you in the last video that I, I pulled it right out of the sand. It's got roots growing out of everywhere. It's got a lot of roots up the, the trunk here. Uh, it's got a lot of roots on the base here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the sand off because I don't necessarily need the sand in this planting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so see this here. When I pulled it out, I think I damaged this root, which is not a big deal because I don't necessarily need roots growing up the trunk right this minute. It will grow aerial roots, but they'll look different. So I don't necessarily want those roots in there. And then this root's growing like completely straight up right here. So I'm gonna cut that one off. And that one's growing straight up too. So I don't want roots growing straight up. So th this amount of root, you might think that that is not enough to actually get this to start growing, but it honestly is. Out here where I'm at in Florida, this is this is perfectly fine. And these roots are a little weak. I don't know if those ones are gonna survive. It doesn't really matter because the rest of those roots will take care of this tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare this pot really quick because I don't typically do this type of um, screens in my pots. That was kind of cool, it just like shot out of there. So I'll do that, clean it out a little bit. I got this pot from a thrift store, which is a really cool place to find pots. Um, you can find some really nice um, bonsai pots at thrift stores for really inexpensive. So keeping your eyes out like that. I don't know if they have thrift stores in um, all the countries, but here in the US we have thrift stores and basically it's a second hand store. Somebody else didn't want this pot so they donated it to a um, thrift store and the thrift store, um, the money that they make goes to stuff. I'm going to just say stuff because I don't know exactly. It doesn't go to me so, <laughs> but anyway. All joking aside there. Um, so I'm gonna cut the screen to fit the bottom of this pot. And obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but that looks pretty good there. It's gonna cover the whole bottom of the pot. Keeps bugs from getting in. Um, the other way it does work. I mean, I'm not, not saying anything bad about it. It does work, it's just not the way I like to do it here because I'll get bugs in the soil if I if I do it like that. So I'm gonna grab my my bonsai soil mix right here. I'm gonna put some in the bottom of the pot. And it is uh, middle of September, end of September actually. So repotting a tree in the middle of September, not necessarily an ideal time to do it. Uh, especially if you're in a colder climate, uh, unless you have a greenhouse that you can put your trees into, or if you're going to keep them inside. If you're going to have them inside, it kind of doesn't matter when you uh, repot your trees, um, as long as they're tropical trees. And if they're not tropical trees, you probably shouldn't keep them in the house. There's a lot of controversy <laughs> about that. I've I've seen some fights on social media about keeping your um, outdoor bonsai trees inside. I, I kind of think it's ridiculous to fight about it, but 
Um, I have seen some people get pretty worked up about it. And I do, I do agree that you shouldn't keep your, your like junipers and pine trees inside. I mean, even over the winter, if it, even if it gets really stinking cold, you shouldn't. I have done that and I've killed trees before doing that. So, and they look just fine. They look just fine until they're not. I mean, that makes all kinds of sense, right? But, but yeah, they, they look fine, they look fine. And then one day you come home and looking at your trees and you've got a dead tree or one that's not doing well and it's already past saving. So, so yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to keep your your outdoor trees inside because they just they don't do well. They they need more oxygen or uh, not oxygen. I keep saying oxygen. They need more air. They need more air flow. So I mean, really, you could do them inside if you had the equipment to do it and the the right lighting and you had you know fans going on them and all that kind of stuff. Have windows open, whatever. I mean. Of course, there's ways of doing anything, so don't let somebody tell you you can't do it. It's just you have to be prepared to fail more often than not with keeping outdoor trees inside. So with this tree, since it doesn't have a whole lot of roots on it, and obviously it's very, very stable in the pot, I'm going to grab a chopstick and... I'm going to take my chopstick and put it down in the pot right here next to it because the chopstick is going to be able to secure this tree in the pot. Take a piece of wire from one of my trees that I just took the wires off of, straighten it out a little bit, and then I'm going to take the wire and I'll wrap it around the chopstick twice, once twice, however many times you feel like doing it, honestly. Just let it sturdy. And then the wrap doesn't have to be super close together, and that actually make, gives it a little more st stability, tilting and all that. And you put this in the, on the soil, get it all the way down to the bottom of the, the pot there. And then I'm going to run this wire across to the trunk of the tree that. It's kind of like what you would do with a, a sapling when you're planting it in the front yard or backyard, wherever you're planting a sapling. And it just gives it a, a little bit more, a little bit more stability. It's still not super stable, but it's going to be in the greenhouse until it gets a little bit more roots, six, seven, eight, ten days maybe, and then I'll put it outside. So this, this tree will do well in this pot, because I'm going to keep it small. There's going to be a really small bonsai. And I know that pot's like way huge for a really small bonsai. I'm planning on letting it grow about, about the A tall, maybe about this wide. Keep it a little bit inside the pot there. Probably change the pot out. This is just one that I have. So yeah, that's how you plant a cutting. I don't know, so comments are welcome and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.